Okay, I'm gonna record a quick graphic tutorial, graphic design tutorial on Canva. I am not a graphic designer, I barely do it, but um, I just wanna show you what's possible with Canva and you can play with this as you go. So you first click on create a design and unfortunately, these this is not very obvious what to do, but it's like they want you to choose a template um, based on whatever you're creating. So let's say you're creating a, um, I don't know, a LinkedIn, image let's say i'm going to type in linkedin and then just going to say linkedin post okay it's linkedin post click on it so it basically gives you like oh it says oh linkedin posts are usually square so we're going to give you a square template to begin with and you say oh i want to create a uh, i want to create like a meme or like an image of image of some kind and then have my name on the image and then have my profile picture in the image so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that Okay, I've just downloaded some images I can I can play with. So uh, here I'm gonna on the left hand side I would click uploads, and I would upload a file by clicking upload. You know, upload let's say a picture that, that I just downloaded of a bird in my yard. This is an actual bird in my actual yard that I just took today. <laughs> this beautiful bird, and uh, I don't know. And this is this is and then you can click and drag the sides obviously to to make it, you know, to make it look a certain way or whatever. This is not a great example, but I can keep dragging until I, I, I can, you know, keep dragging until I fill, fill the template you know, with this bird. And then I will use a, click on text on the left-hand side and I will use heading here. You could try all kinds of fonts and things like that. And I'm gonna click heading here. And I'm just gonna say, uh, be free as a bird. Okay, obviously that's I want it easier to read, so I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna click the three dots, and I'm gonna click um, the transparency, and I'm gonna make it less trans. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, that's not the right one. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do effects rather effects, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the, having a background. There you go, background. I don't want the background to be yellow. I want the background to be something like that. Okay. And and then I, I want I want this thing to be bigger, be free as I mean that's a little too big. That's kind of looks 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 kind of silly, but I'm just giving you an example. And then now it's time to put my name and my profile picture. Same thing. I click on text, I click on heading, I click uh, George Cow, authentic business coach, and then I click on the three dots, I click effects, I click, again, I'm not a graphic designer, I'm just making this shit up, sorry, I'm making this stuff up right now, I'm sure there's much better ways of doing it, but I'm just click color, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it look like this this time, and uh, I'm gonna go down here, put it down here, oh, I'm gonna put my own picture, so I'm gonna click upload, upload, upload files, I'm gonna upload a picture that I just uh, downloaded from my, from my uh, Google Drive here, I'm going to click on this picture on the left. Obviously, that's way too big. Uh, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do um, elements. Click on elements, and I'm going to do. I'm going to find a, a, a circle, circle element, and click. Uh, no, I'm not going to click add shape. I'm going to click on suggested circle, and I'm going to look for frames. That's what I'm looking for. Frames. Look for frames under elements because frames allow you to put. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to click on the circle frame here. Okay, circle frame. I don't want my picture that big. I'm gonna maybe maybe look like this. Okay, I'm gonna move it around, and then I'm going to add. Go to go to uploads. Go to uploads here, and I'm gonna add my picture. Okay, but I'm gonna drag my picture into the frame. See, just like that. And I'm gonna I mean, you can do it however you want to, right? You can do it. You can do it however you want to, um, and you can even group things together. So let's say, okay, when you drag things, you notice the lines, the pink lines show you that it's aligned with something, okay? It's aligned, it's aligned with something, okay? And I can even group these things by clicking and dragging these two, whoops, it's not, not the whole picture. I'm gonna click and drag these two elements. Whoops, I'm gonna click outside the gray area to unselect the picture. I'm gonna click and drag these two elements. And I'm gonna group them together by clicking three dots and clicking, where's group? Okay, group, group, there it is, group. And after I group it, that means I can now click and drag these two wherever I want to. It's kind of ugly. I should have put my name in the middle, but whatever. So I hope this is helpful. And um, Roxanne, since you, since you asked a question, I want to give you a chance. Is, is this what you're looking for or any questions about this? The, am I? How, okay, yes, sorry. you're you're unmuted. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Um, yes, partially what I'm looking for. Um, thanks for demonstrating it. I would like to ask about um more than putting pictures, but uh creating graphics. Though I recognize that I acknowledge that you mentioned that you're not a graphic designer. What kinds of graphics? A like you want to draw? You I, uh, yeah. Okay. Drawing um is here on the left hand side that says draw. So draw again. You can use these markers and, and you could change the color down here. So let's say I want to change the color and I can click on the color wheel to 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 totally change. Let's see. I'm gonna a, a blue hue, a blue hue down here, and then I want something a little bit lighter. Okay, let's say that. I mean, I'm I'm just gonna click outside or I'm gonna click here again to select that. And then I want to select this. And then I can draw. Like that, you mean? A not. Not really, but uh or elements. Elements on the left hand side, you can do shapes. Maybe that's what you're looking for. Shapes. You could do all oops, I'm gonna I'm gonna X out the shape. There's all kinds of shapes or stickers, charts. Uh, yeah, stickers. Can I share a post? Sure, go ahead and share a post. Go ahead. Okay, and um, you know. Roxanne, you were you were really looking at making an image like this. And this is really, these days, you can use AI to generate it really easily. So go to ChatGPT. I wrote this. Please create an in hand-drawn image of black and white cartoon corporate team doing push-ups together. That's a lot of people, right? So I said, hey, how about fewer people? And it's trying to do fewer. And you can keep on instructing it, maybe less cartoony, you know, more realistic, whatever. Adiogram.ai is another example. I, I did the same thing. And you know, it gave me the, the, these options, and of course, I can continue to 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 adjust it. But this seems like you know more 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 similar to this one, for example. I could say more 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 serious or something like that, right? So I hope this is helpful. Thanks.